All right. How about we move along to the revenant, which can be number two. It did nearly 32 million this week, only a 20% drop off. After two weeks of release, it's already made 90 million. At a really high budget of 135 million. So it looks like it's going to make that back and more. You know, the Golden Globe win and the Oscar nominations definitely helped it. I mean, if you count the, the four day weekend, it didn't, there was no drop off at all. I mean, the four day weekend, it made 39 million. Yeah, I'm surprised how well it held up. Remember the last podcast, you say that the Revenant could hold the number one spot and yeah. it almost did. Yeah, mainly because of the Golden Globe win and the Oscar nominations together really helped it. Yeah, I'm just surprised how well this movie is holding up. Same here, same here. I mean, at, at a budget of 135, it really it looks like a, you know, a blockbuster budget for an indie movie. The first week that it went wide was what? It did 39? Yeah. Right? right and, and then right. the second weekend is still in the 30s. So you expect, you know, maybe a 40 to 50% drop off, but actually 20% drop off, so which is, you know, it held up amazingly well. Yeah, their strategy paid off. They really wanted to open on the weekend of the Golden Globes and one week before the nominations because they were expecting this film to win some awards at the Golden Globes and to get nominated. And that strategy worked out really well. Yeah, you know what? At this point, I think The Revenant might win the Oscars for Best Pictures. Yeah, at this point. Although I'm hoping for uh, Mad Max. <laughs> I don't think uh, Mad Max is going to win Best Picture. <laughs> It'll be different if it, it won. Definitely unexpected. It, it would be different, but the Oscars are not about being different. I guess it's about being the safe choice. But okay. anyway, uh, the weapon held up really well. I think mainly because of the double whammy of the Golden Globes winning and 12 Oscar nominations, the most of any film this year. Although Mad Max isn't fall behind, Mad Max was nominated for 10, which was a, a surprise to me too. I'm not sure if the Revenants doing so well in theaters can be attributed mostly to the um, Golden Globe win though. I mean, there are other movies that have been nominated and won, you know, and it didn't hold, you know, hold up as well. I think that the fact that it held up so well, I think the Oscar and the Globes did have some effect. I think so, but hey, you never know. All right.